Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be unboxing our October Ipsy. We have the Ipsy Glam Bag as well as the BoxyCharm. Now if you're unfamiliar with Ipsy, it's a monthly beauty sample subscription where each month you get five little mini sample sized products and typically one full sized product. And they come in a little makeup bag. This is $14 a month with a small handling fee. And with the BoxyCharm, you get five full sized products. As a subscriber, you choose three products and it's typically worth up to $200, so very well worth it. A very great thing to try new products and if you don't want to purchase a full-size product and then return it if you end up not liking it, kind of takes the time out of that and you get to try and discover new brands, which is what I love about Ipsy. The BoxyCharm is $30 a month and I'm really curious to see what is in this October box. Spooky season is such a favorite time for me, so I'm really intrigued to see what kind of bag we got and what kind of products we were spoiled with today. So Ipsy sent me this to review and unbox with you guys, so without further ado, we're going to jump right in. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy watching my Ipsy unboxings. So this month we have Beauty Nightmares. So as always in my unboxings, I typically start with the glam bag. And just to start, I haven't had any spoilers, so I have no idea what to expect. You guys, this is one of the coolest bags I think I've seen this far. I love the art of it. I love the little zipper. Super cute. Very on theme for Halloween. It's almost like a fuchsia in the bag. I don't know if the camera's pulling more red, but it's very fuchsia-y. Up first, we have a Dew of the Gods product. This is their Sorbet Mini Hyaluronic Lip Butter. It smells like a little hint of strawberry, and it's really nice, but it's a cute little mini. Up next, we have... This is from Toy Factory. It's their Mini Oat Bay. So what is this? This is a makeup remover. You pump this onto a cotton pad and swipe over your face. So I wonder if it's like a cream, like a creamy cleanser. The packaging is pretty cute. I'm going to open it up for you guys. It's in a little cute bottle. I'm excited to try this and see if it actually works on my eye makeup because it's so hard to find good makeup removers that do work for eye makeup. It definitely feels water-based and smells a little chemically, so... We'll see. Let me know if you've given this a try because this is the first time I'm seeing it and I haven't tried it before. Up next we have a Bobbi Brown product. This is their Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I love a good primer and I'm going to try this out on my hand, just a little area right here. It feels like a lotion, so it's very lotion-y on the skin. It smells almost like, um, like a citrus. It has like a citrus scent. I'm excited to see how their primer is with my skin. We also have this Moon Slice Beauty. This is a little blush, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so we can see what color it is. It's in the shade Beautiful. There's the packaging, and there's the shade. It's a really pretty shade. It's kind of a shade that I typically use on a daily basis, but very pretty. It's actually a little more pink than I thought, so this might be too much for me, but it is a pretty pink for fun Halloween makeup. And last but not least, what we have in here is a Beauty For Real lip liner. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this on my hand as well, because I feel like lip liners tend to lie about what color they actually are, and until you try it out for yourself, you don't actually know what color it is. I also hate when brands use little plastic over these. They're so impossible to get off, and they're honestly just not good for the planet. Like, it's such a waste of plastic, and I don't think it's necessary. After finally getting that off, let's go ahead and test this out. Oh, it's a stunning shade. It's so perfect for fall. I'll definitely be wearing this. Beautiful, like, it's a purpley, but still, like, giving the natural lip color. Very beautiful. I'm excited for this. That's all in the glam bag, so we're going to move over to the BoxyCharm. We have our little, like, beauty newspaper. I love that they do these. They're so fun to read, and I'm always curious to see, like, how they create them. Here's what we're looking at. It's so beautiful. She's dressed as Kitty Vibes. 
love this. And then inside they give some different tips and different makeup inspiration. You guys can pause the video if you want to read it. And then on the back, they show another inspiration, get the look resting witch face. They just get so creative with these, I love them. Now I'm just going to grab and go and see where we land. So we have vitamin C serum. This is from Claire's New York. It's their advanced serum vitamin E. It's supposed to brighten, minimize large pores, correct uneven skin tone, and it has vitamin C, fruit extract, um, flower water, vitamin E. So I'm really excited to give this a try and see how it pairs with my skin. Our next product in here is a lipstick. This is Unforgettable Modern Love Lipstick Cream. And this is from Kevin O'Coin. I am the worst at pronouncing things, so please feel free to correct me in the comments. It's a very beautiful shade. I'm going to swatch it on the other hand because I have so much going on on this hand. Oh, I'm definitely going to be using this. These colors are beautiful and it pairs very well with my skin tone. It's definitely a cream texture, so I don't know if you would really need gloss for this because it's very creamy as it is, but a stunning color. Up next we have one of my favorites. This is from Tarte. This is their blush tape. These have been like really trending. This is in their peach shade. I actually have not tried these yet, but I've tried other brands. Like I've tried Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and then another one, I got like a mini one from Ipsy a little while back and I've been using that one. That one has like blush and like a shimmer. So it's almost like a highlighter blush in one. But I'm really excited to give this one a try because... I always love my Tarte products and this shade looks really, really pretty. So I'm going to kind of swatch this one on my hand as well. I actually did a little too much. I did actually a lot too much, so I'm not going to be able to blend this, but just to show you guys the color that we're looking like, obviously I did way too much, but the color is really pretty and I'm really interested to see how it does blend. Next we have our Tovegan Green Glow Up Cream. I am not familiar with this at all. It does say it's animal test free and vegan for all skin types. I'm just going to open this. I I haven't heard of this before, but the packaging is really pretty. It's my favorite color if you couldn't tell. It also smells very citrusy. It's almost like a jelly consistency. But this is going to feel like a true spa experience, I can already tell. Let me know what you guys think of this product, if you've tried it, if you've seen it, if you have any information on it, um, and what your thoughts are. Last but not least, we have this Glow Palette. It's Eloise Goddess Palette. Packaging is so pretty. I always love these colors together. And then we have some fun shades, perfect for the time of October. I get some inspiration from these colors. I'm happy to swatch these on my Instagram store if you guys would like, so just let me know in the comments. And that is all for this month's October Ipsy unboxing. Let me know your thoughts below, and let me know what you've received in your Ipsy box. I'm always so excited for this time of month, and I'm so incredibly grateful that Ipsy gives these to me as PR to review and share with all of you. So before I end this video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye!